Well, it's just a little commentary. Uh, I haven't done a whole lot, just a little video yesterday, but just a kind of a goofy little thing about observations and things. No, uh, no rant to it. But uh, on the car situation, you know, here lately, within the last probably 20 years or so, the car looks much alike. You can't hardly tell one from the other. It's uh, aside from the color. If you see a bunch of cars in the parking lot, well, it's a whole lot like a, a basket full of Easter eggs. They about the only way to tell the difference if you happen to see the name. And another thing is the headlights. They've got them things looking like the car is vicious or evil. They're all make that streamed back look, you know. Even the trucks are somewhere that way. I, mean, I don't have much class as far as I'm concerned. But as a matter of fact, though, um, when they started taking all the chrome off and all that, uh, of course the marketers said, "Boy, there, that's that's pretty. You don't need that chrome. It don't that don't look good." And then, so naturally, nobody wants to be in the out crowd. So, or to be in the in crowd, everybody wants one no chrome. And uh, back to the headlights for a minute, though several years ago probably I don't know 30 years ago or something maybe they quit uh, putting the dimmer switch on the floor which is very handy instead they got all this junk on the on the side of your steering wheel up there on your column there they got your windshield wipers your washers your dimmers your blinkers your, everything you can imagine is on there and uh, so that's kind of confusing in some respect whenever there's a foot dimmer was perfect you know your left foot's not doing anything anyway on a regular automatic car so why not leave it like that and uh, uh, another thing is style of these new cars they're all rounded I kind of got into that a while ago when I said they look alike but you take them back in the old 50s and up in the 60s a little ways there they had them old fins of course they had nothing to do with much of anything side and look but it gives you a definite line to the car where these others was round you know back in the 60s and 70s or before that even the car designers they had a job you know they I mean that was a job to get that thing looking good and sharp and different and now I guess anybody can draw a circle it's about design with their egg shape like that but anyway, that's a little thing on the car situation. Another thing is the headlights, again, back to that. The new ones have got them real bright bluish-white lights that about blind you. Even if it's on, if it's on dim, it still about blinds you. And I don't know if they're that much better uh, for vision or not from the driver's point of view, because I don't have one like that. But anyway, that's a little ditty on the uh, car situation and the lights. And another little something I want to comment on is these... Uh, uh, sitcom situation comedies. Uh, they can't hardly say two words about they got this ha 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 book and stuff in there. Now you know everything they say ain't funny, but I know that's another thing is to psych out the audience and the, well actually the people at home they, to make them think it's very funny because everybody else is laughing. Well, it's got to be funny. Well, I just assume watch something that had music behind it instead of all that feeling that laughter because a lot of that stuff is simply not really funny until you hear somebody else laughing well you're going to join in you know that's so therefore I hardly ever watch sitcoms at all and in fact I don't watch TV hardly at all I watch it uh, on YouTube a lot I watch the old cowboy shows and the old crime shows adventure shows like that I uh, yeah, prefer to watch black and white the cowboy shows in the old days you didn't see big blood splashing all over the place a whole town full of blood yeah they got shot that grabbed their shovel well I've been shot huh? well that's good enough. You don't have a big blood. You don't have that blood splatter but anymore. All the movies and everything. If it ain't got a lot of blood and got some futuristic junk in there, why well, nobody wants to watch it. And uh, I guess this is run, rambling on. That's all it is. It's not a rant. It's just an observation and a little commentary here. But one more thing before I get off here is this business about these executions. They they can't execute them because the chemicals ain't quite right. Well. When those people kill the ones that they're in there for, I wonder if they done it with any kind of compassion. And obviously they didn't because nobody wants to die. Those people didn't want to. And then these people here that's on death row, they don't want to. But what is the big deal? If they give them some kind of chemical that ain't quite right, is it going to kill them? Well, that's the idea. Or is it going to make them last a little bit longer? Well, what the heck? Some of the people that got killed by these, vic by these vicious people on death row, they didn't care case here in Missouri there's a guy on death row here now which they postponed that again 
he killed he killed a, a mom and two kids cut their throats and put them in a pond to finish drowning now that guy there he's evil I wouldn't care if they took him out and shot him hung him or done whatever when you think about the victims of this guy then you think about how what difference does it make how they kill him and I know there's a lot of people don't want this death penalty well then that's just your own choice but the thing about it is somebody viciously murders somebody else took their life ruins their family's lives forever they deserve something more than just a pat on the back and say don't do it no more at least don't get caught all right that did start sounding like a rant there I know and maybe it was there's some things I feel strongly about in uh, that business of uh, not getting punished for a very heinous crime like that is uh, not my idea of good time. Okay, well, all right. Well, now some people probably going to like uh, things I said and what have you. Well, that's that's fine. That's your that's your your prerogative. That's your uh, that's your uh, right. No problem with that. But I just want to throw this little thing in here. I haven't been even doing any commentaries for a while. And uh, but anyway. Thanks for putting up with me. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. And uh, maybe we'll come up with something else one of these days before too long. <laughs>